Hi, um, today I am going to uh, talk about varnishing. Um, and I've got five little miniature paintings here that I'm hoping to get varnished for you as long as my battery holds out. Um, just a quick reminder, this is what I use to varnish. Ooh, I get it in frame. I use Liquin Original um, and I thin it with just a tiny, tiny bit of uh, Gamsol turpentine. Um, just really just by dipping my brush in and then dipping into, I have a little cap full right here. Um, it's pretty stinky stuff, and so if you're going to do a larger piece, um, you want to do it in a really well ventilated area, and um, I'll go over varnishing larger pieces at some point, but here we go. So I've just got a little bit on my brush here. And it just takes a second, and what I do is, you know, before I start, I'll make sure that there's no fuzz or snow globe hair on here. And I just take it, start at the top, and down. And you can see it really pops all the colors out, and it will stay like this. Like, once this is um, done varnish, being varnished, it will last. Oops, now I can see I've got a little bit of an issue right there. Something happened that I wasn't expecting. Got a little bit. There must have been a star or something that was slightly wet. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. And I'm able just to kind of go in there and just clean it up. It happens. There could have even been some white paint on my uh, paper towel over here too where I'm wiping my brush. And I can see a little bit right there. Oh, there. Oh. There we go. That's the first one. This was a commission and um, I was given just the instructions of using a sailboat and an otter and a palm tree and a little owl in the palm tree. So I could kind of come up with a, what I wanted. What I'm doing right now is just going over just the, just the edges a little bit. And I just want to show you that on this one. I won't do that on the others because it's not as easy to see what I'm doing. So there we go. There's the first one. I'm going to go ahead and jump in on this one. The black ones, uh, the ones with darks, are it's so much easier to see uh, the transformation. And again, start there. Did you spot it? There's a little snow globe hair right there. I just pick it up on my brush and move it. Sometimes when it's sort of directional, if I'm like, uh, let's say there's a bunch of clouds or there's um, a tree or something like that, what I'll do with the varnish rather just going straight up and down is I might just kind of come in and pull the varnish sort of over that area. And when it hits the light, sometimes you can see that it just accentuates some of the original brushwork. There we go. And then sometimes I'll just tilt it, tilt it in the light to um, make sure I got it all. Looks good. And then I set these aside to dry. Liquin, um, if you get any on your fingers or anything like that, just uh, you know, don't freak out while you're um, while you're working necessarily. I'm gonna try and raise this up a little bit. I'm still experiencing a learning curve here with my videos, so thanks for hanging in there. This will n probably won't be as dramatic. Um, there we go. Just takes a second. And liquid varnish, I 
it's it's pretty much dry within uh, 24 hours. But if I'm shipping something, I will uh, let it rest for um, at least a week, just because you just never know. You know, shipping. There we go. This is a fun one. I love this one. This one's called "Finding Your Life's Porpoise." Little little pun there. You can see it really brings out the the darks and the details. And it just it just makes it look more polished, finishes it up. And I got one more here. Another nice dark piece. You can already see a snow glow pair on it. I'll lower that down a little bit. I have these up on the easel just for demonstration. Um, if I'm doing them, uh, you know, normally I can just, you know, leave them on a plate or, you know, hold it in my hand like I've been doing too. This one should be really dramatic. have to get too precious about her or anything. You know. There we go. There you have it. Let's clean up the top. Clean up the bottom. Pull it over the edge there. And we're all done. And that's how you varnish a painting.